So how was your weekend before we dive into the mailbag, your bank holiday weekend where you did some work? I I went to bed really excited about watching AEW Double or Nothing and woke up the next morning, started watching it, and I did not resent it slightly that I had no. to work on a Sunday on a bank holiday weekend because, my word, what an incredibly fun show. Yeah, well, I was going to say, we haven't, you weren't on the podcast. So tell us, what did you think of the show? Well, you know, you can go and watch my review of it on, on Wrestle Talk. But I, I loved it all the way through, really. I know people are like, oh, the, the ladder match was a bit iffy or the, the, the buy-in match wasn't the best. But I just loved the fun of it. I really liked the women's match because I freaking love Sheeta. I love the debut of Brian Cage. It kind of ties in with everything I was saying I predicted with them pairing someone with uh, Taz. Cannot believe we didn't once think Brian Cage. I know. When when me and Ad, uh, me and Laurie did the video on Friday, the magazine show, and we were talking about it being Gulak or The Revolt or Sting, every comment was like, Brian Cage, Brian Cage. And I was like, oh, idiot. Why didn't I think of Brian Cage? Yeah, it's like when he walked out, I went, oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so obvious. Um, but yeah, well, good on AEW for sort of waiting long enough to for that sort of speculation to die down and well, I, I, I really enjoyed it hmm? yeah he was injured so mm. they signed him back in january when his wife told him that all of those reports from cycle uncensored were made up um and but he was injured when they signed him so they've just basically been paying him to sit at home and recuperate ready for him to come back well he looks in great shape i imagine he's just been working out that entire time but that was really good i thought that was a nice bit of newsworthiness and that he'll he'll you know go right into a program for the aw title i think that's a, a great way to establish a main eventer and i my personally my favorite thing on the show was the finish to Brody lee versus john moxley amazing what an amazing finish yeah so so great like the bam bam bigelow taz going through the stage. I thought they might, when they went through, I was like, oh, that's how they're going to enter the match. The one thing we didn't think of, like a, a you know, a no contest effectively. And when they both crawled out and Brody crawled out with the blood pouring down his face and then he choked, and then like he hits the, the paradigm shift and he kicks out at one. I was like, no way. And the only way he could beat him was by choking and like, dr like driving the blood out of his body was the only way that he could stop him. Man, like I thought it put over Brody Lee massively. Like there was someone in the comments on uh, when we did our live stream review, Laurie and I, um, they said like, I don't see how that protects Brody Lee. I'm like, how could it not? Like they did everything they could to protect him. Yeah, I he is. That's the most interested I've ever been in Brody Lee's character. I cannot wait to see him again. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. the and the main event, sorry, was uh, I said it in my review. It was the Captain America Civil War fight scene in the airport done in wrestling. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Like I, I'm still laughing at the mat facts on screen, and it's not just that there were mat facts on screen. It's that Santana and Ortiz <laughs> could see that there were mat facts on screen. That's what tipped it over the edge for me. Mm, yeah, absolutely brilliant. I loved it. Thank you.